Over the past year, I've lost 60 kilos, which is nice. It's a... Uh... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now your first reaction is, oh, my God, that's amazing. So much weight. But in the back of your head, you're thinking, ah, how fat were you? <laughs> you know you still have tits, yeah? And uh, I do, I still have tits. I'm proud of my tits. Here's the thing, all right? Uh, I still identify as a fat dude. The difference is now I'm a fun fat dude. <laughs> You know, I'm a fun fatty. Whereas a year ago, I was a sad fat dude. Just a sad fatty. The main difference between a fun fatty and a sad fatty is as a fun fatty, if I go to the bar tonight, just have 10 shots of tequila, rip my shirt off like Hulk Hogan, you guys would be like, oh, <laughs> fuck yes. The party started. Big Fat James has ripped his shirt off. Like, you would love it. You would love it. If I did that a year ago, though, you guys would be like, Oh, <laughs> fuck no. Party's over. Big Fat Dave's just ripped his shirt off and he's sweating in my beard. This is disgusting. <laughs> Someone get this dog a shirt. And I would <laughs> try and make other lifestyle changes, trying to quit smoking ciggies. Uh, any other ciggy smokers in tonight? <laughs> Five of us, all right. <laughs> We're a dying breed, that makes sense. <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's hard being a ciggy smoker. They're very addictive, especially for me, like, because uh, for some reason, every woman I've ever slept with, I've met in a smoker section. <laughs> I did figure it out. Because uh, smoking and having sex with me is very similar. Uh, most people do agree that it is disgusting, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> people who still do it have a really fuck, I don't want to die anyway type of attitude. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, does a stink pee you. <laughs> They don't call me Stinky Dick Dave for no reason. <laughs> That's why it's a late show. I hope you all had dinner first. <laughs> uh, man, it's good. Um, I've just moved to Sydney and my uh, parents live in Brisbane. I miss my parents, man. I uh, love my dad. Does anyone here uh, have a dad? <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Guys are gonna love this one. Uh, <laughs> oh man, my dad's like the best dude. He's a very chilled out guy. Uh, until you take him through a drive-thru and he just loses his mind. Like, I once saw my dad call a bin at McDonald's a fuckhead <laughs> because he thought it was a speaker, okay? <laughs> we went to KFC this one time. We ordered one of those ultimate double boxes, you know, with everything in it. And uh, after we paid for it, the lady comes up, she goes, I am so sorry, sir. We've just ran out of mashed potato and gravy. My dad goes, Oh, well, that's uh, peculiar. <laughs> because I paid for mashed potato and gravy. <laughs> so what are you going to give us instead? We can give you coleslaw. Coleslaw? <laughs> Who in the fuck wants coleslaw? <laughs> hey, how many drinks are you giving us in this meal? She goes, oh, only two, sir. <sighs> I want four drinks. And we went to the second window. This is where KFC messed up, right? Because at the second window, there were just lines and lines of tubs of gravy. <laughs> and my dad clocked them straight away. So this lady comes out four Pepsi Maxes, and my dad goes, what is that? That's gravy, sir. I thought you didn't have any bloody gravy. No, it's just normal gravy. We don't have gravy in mashed potato. <sighs> I want six gravies. <laughs> so at this point, we're robbing the KFC, OK? Like, <laughs> No one man needs all that gravy. <laughs> and I don't know if you've been to a KFC lately, there's only 14-year-old girls working there. <laughs> and my dad had them all fucked. Like, <laughs> I saw them, like, trying to silently play scissors, paper, rock behind the grill <laughs> because there was some more bad news and someone had to tell Big Trev. <laughs> and I felt so bad. Like, the run to the KFC litter, she puts out a rock, which is usually a great choice, and then some fucking asshole, her name's probably Bethany, she puts down a paper, get out there. <laughs> Tears immediately from this young lady. She goes, no! Please, I can win. But then, like, this big emo chick just rose from the ashes like a hero. <laughs> just waddles over. She goes, it's OK, Cynthia. I volunteer as tribute. Started walking to the window. All the other girls were like, Doo! 
It's beautiful, man. She came up to the window, just check her attitude. She comes up, looks my dad right in the eyes and goes, I'm sorry, sir. We've just ran out of chicken. There's going to be a 25 minute wait. Yeah. This feeling times it by a thousand, okay? She was tense. And my dad was, for a lack of better words, flabbergasted. He was just like, oh. Oh. You gotta be bloody joking me! You're telling me KFC has ran out of chicken. Let me ask you a question, darling. Let me ask you a question. What does the C stand for, hey? What does the C stand for? She goes, I don't know, coleslaw? <laughs> that was the most gangster shit I've ever seen in my life. I was like, little girl, you're my dad now, okay? Fucking cross over. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Enjoy your night.